Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us today. My name is Drew Wilson. I am with the sales and marketing team here at Tools Forever. Today, I'm joined by Sean Blankenship, and we are so thankful to have the opportunity to spend the next 10 minutes uh, to provide an introduction to our flagship identity management solution, Hello ID. Uh, and specifically today, we'll be looking at a introductory overview to uh, a specific module within Hello ID that uh, provides solutions for automated user lifecycle management. So whether you are new to identity management, you're looking to replace an old legacy system, looking to upgrade some of the manual work you're doing, you'll know that on any given day, you're going to have to create a new user account, you're going to have to remove an account for someone who's no longer part of your organization, and you're going to have to manage any number of day-to-day -day changes uh, for accounts and access that your end users are going to need. Uh, Tools Forever for over 20 years has specialized in providing solutions for organizations to help them automate this process, providing direct connections into your HR or student information systems. Uh, we can ensure that a new user is going to have all the accounts that they need on day one, we're going to make sure that all of their access and accounts are disabled or deleted or removed the day that they leave your organization. Uh, we're going to be able to detect any role changes uh, or user changes that happen throughout their time within your organization. So as you begin your identity management project, there's any number of things you're looking at. But automated user provisioning is the cornerstone of any successful identity management strategy. Not only is this going to bring tremendous efficiency increases, time savings within your IT department, uh, it's going to make life and communication easier between different departments such as HR, uh, and it's going to be incredibly helpful for your managers and your end users to be able to do the job that they need starting on day one. So with that, we are incredibly proud of our Hello ID provisioning product, uh, and we're excited to show it to you here in just a second. Um, as I hand this over to Sean, uh, we're going to really focus today on sort of the nuts and bolts for this video as an introduction to how Hello ID works, uh, how it is implemented, how it can be scaled to really fit any sort of organization in any type of industry uh, to provide uh, a true automated lifecycle solution uh, that works within your applications, your processes and policies, as well as your users. So Sean, I'm going to ask that uh, we get started with the introduction here at this point. Uh, and again, everyone, we appreciate your time. Thanks, Drew. I wanted to start off by taking a quick look at the overall steps that Hello ID is going to take during the provisioning sync process. So if we follow along with the flowchart here, our first step is going to be data collection. So our source systems that we need to pull data from. Now, typically this is going to be things like our ERP, HR, or for the education side, our student information systems. HelloID is going to pull that relevant information into an internal database within our HelloID tenant, and it's actually going to store it on our common entity model that we call persons. From there, these persons can be filtered down into specific rules. These business rules let us to find out the types of entitlements that the related users should be granted in our target systems, uh, where our target systems could be things like Active Directory or maybe even Google, Azure AD, etc. Let's go ahead and move over to look at the source systems that we have defined here inside this particular instance. Hello ID does include some built-in connectors for source and target systems, but the vast majority of integrations are actually handled via a generic PowerShell connector template that Hello ID makes available. This means that things like custom integrations can actually be created as needed, or existing integrations can be adjusted at a scripting level to better suit the organization's needs. Additionally, this allows Hello ID to work with several different data synchronization mechanisms. In most cases, Hello ID will communicate via things like flat files, APIs, or ODBC queries. Tools Forever actually maintains a public GitHub for these Hello ID connectors that have already been established. If you are interested in seeing some examples of these different methods or want to check out the existing connectors uh, that we have already published. Now, while Hello ID is a cloud-based service, local resources can still be incorporated into the configuration by leveraging the Hello ID agent services. These are deployed out onto local Windows servers and will connect back to your Hello ID tenant from your internal network and allow integration with systems that may be hosted on-premise. Now that Hello ID has data imported into its vault, we can actually view these persons directly from the admin console. 
We'll dig into this view towards the end of the video in a little bit more detail, but know that this is data that is visible from Hello ID and can be really helpful in providing visibility into the raw data that our account management will be based around. Business rules let us define a filter condition based around attributes stored on our persons and then associate those to the different entitlement types that we can grant to them in our particular target systems. I'm going to use active employees here as a quick example. In this particular case, we're looking at start and end dates for the person as well as a user type classification. Now, additional criteria could be added here, allowing for the rules to range from simple to very specific. Any of the data points that we have on our persons is actually available for us to be used inside these conditions. So as our incoming data set grows, the possibilities for use within the conditions also grows with it. With our filter set up, now we can start to tie together the list of entitlements that users should be granted for falling into our particular rule. This is often going to be things like accounts inside Active Directory or Google, uh, maybe group memberships, or maybe even specific permissions within our target systems themselves. Because the options available here are based highly around our target system integrations, this will vary largely based off the organization and the systems involved with our provisioning setup. The target systems themselves are at their core very similar to what we saw with our source systems. They're going to define information about how do we connect to the particular system, uh, but on top of that, they're also going to define information around how do we take action around certain events. So for example, if we are talking about Active Directory, when we go to create a new AD account, how do we actually go about generating that account? Things like attribute values, um, username generation and iteration control, OU management, all of those different configurations. So those are all going to be stored within our target system configuration as well. Just like our source systems, these are also going to be built off of either the built-in connectors or make use of our generic PowerShell templates. So again, uh, if you are curious to see what that actually looks like, we do have the Tools Forever public GitHub for Hello ID that allows you to dig into these templates a little bit further. One of the critical functions needed when implementing identity management software is going to be around logging and data or process visibility. All of the systems integrated to HelloID actually capture audit logs automatically and use a configurable retention period as well. Additionally, audit information can be viewed per person, giving a great view into the actions taken on a specific user across all systems or from a particular system itself. One of the unique features of HelloID around source system imports is that it actually captures delta differences with every snapshot import of those source systems. This means I can actually pull up a history for a given user and see all of the changes to that raw data that have happened to the user, making tracking down why an event occurred much easier. Automating processes like account creation also need to have constraints in force to tell HelloID when should processing actually be halted. Similar to the audit logging, HelloID houses configurable thresholds that will automatically block actions if the pending number is greater than the associated threshold. So for example, if we were creating AD accounts and we had more than the expected number, HelloID would stop that processing uh, and actually do things like alert personnel so that action could be taken. Email notifications, while being great for notifying when things like thresholds are hit, can also then be used to send emails during different events during the normal kind of processing flow. For example, we could be using these emails to generate welcome notifications to actual end users, maybe once their AD account has been fully created. Now that'll wrap up our quick overview on HelloID's provisioning module. We looked at how system integrations work, both from a source and target systems perspective, how HelloID can store the person data to be utilized in business rules, and then ultimately link those users to the resources and entitlements that they should be granted. And lastly, we took a quick look at some of the auditing and logging features available through the provisioning module. Drew, I'll go ahead and hand it back over to you. Okay, thanks Sean for that great introduction to Hello ID provisioning. As you can see, it is a really direct and straightforward approach to automating the user lifecycle 
it, there's a lot of power there. Uh, Hello ID is incredibly scalable. It can be customized to fit almost any of your own specific user provisioning needs. Uh, so we appreciate you making it to this point in the video. We hope you were able to learn a little bit more about our own unique approach to solving one of the key identity management challenges. If you have additional questions or would like to perhaps uh, schedule a live demonstration for your team, you can stay on our website, www.toolsforever.com. You'll find a number of additional resources on Hello ID in the resource section, but we'd also encourage you to head over to the contact page. You'll find a listing for all of our worldwide offices, and you can uh, locate the regional office closest to you and the team that will be happy to answer any additional questions you have, uh, provide any additional information, or to schedule that live product demo if you are so inclined. With that, we'll wrap up. Uh, but I just wanted to thank you all again for your time, and uh, we hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you.